And is this Mr. Little at DDC? Thank Ali Akbar Little. Thanks, sir. And Mr. Little, before we get to your primary case, uh, we got some traffic tickets where you missed some court dates. When you miss those dates, a judge issued an arrest warrant for you. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You also have a right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford an attorney, the court will provide one for you. Do you understand those rights, sir? Yes. All right, give me one moment, and I'm going to give you a new date for these traffic tickets. All right. First ticket is... X182-7467, no operator's license. Ticket 310506, no operator's license. Ticket 434092, no valid operator's license, no insurance. And ticket 435000, no valid operator's license, no insurance. Sir, these are all misdemeanor charges. Maximum penalty you face on each is up to 93 days in jail and or $500 fine. I'm going to set aside the arrest warrant, uh, enter a not guilty plea on your behalf, and give you a personal bond. Your next court date on these tickets is April 30th for pretrial in front of Judge Perkins here in 36th District Court. Your more significant matter today is case 24056485, State of Michigan versus Ali Akbar Hussein Little Council. Jennifer Douglas for the People, P72748. We're breaking on behalf of Mr. Little. Waive the formal reading, Sam, you this time, Your Honor. Court will enter a nine guilty plea on his behalf as to bond. Your Honor, Mr. Little, the people are asking for a bond of 50,000, 10% with tethering a curfew for the following reasons. Um, here, Mr. Little is charged with uh, possessing a firearm and ammo, um, but given the circumstances surrounding that, we believe that there is a danger to the public, and MCR 6.106 requires the court to consider all relevant uh, um, information having to do with risk of danger. Um, Your Honor, here, there's a security video, so there's a high likelihood of conviction. Um, Mr. Little is seen in the video, according to the report, um, picking up a green bag, which he later was found with at the hospital. Um, and at the hospital, the bag was found to contain um, firearm accessories. Um, but in the video, Mr. Little can allegedly be seen picking up this bag from the passenger seat of his car, pulling out a Draco style firearm and handing it to another person um, while there was a physical um, altercation between a group of people going on, Your Honor. And so we do think that that indicates a danger. Mr. Little is not supposed to have a firearm anyway, um, Your Honor. And while Mr. Little isn't accused of being the actual shooter, um, the video, according to the report, shows Mr. Little at some point laying down a gun that he had um, on top of a car, and then the shooter comes up, picks it up, and ends up shooting into the crowd. So, Your Honor, we think with all of this together, um, there is a danger to the public. While he's not uh, considered the actual shooter, uh, we do have him in possession, according to the report, um, the video shows him in possession of a gun two different times. One when he's handing off the Draco style firearm to another individual while there is an active um, dispute going on at the club. And then um, having a firearm that he at some point places on top of a vehicle, which is later picked up by the shooter um, and then used to shoot into the, the crowd. So given that uh, he's not supposed to have a gun, we're asking for that 50,000, 10% with tether and a curfew. Thank you. So, Judge, I did hear Ms. Ms. Duck say, say, you know, a few things um, over. Um, I will say, Judge, that I understand that, you know, possessing a firearm, you know, is 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 an alleged crime, Judge. Obviously, you know, I don't think this is something that Mr. Uh, Little is going to go to jail for or be incarcerated for. Um, 
he, judge, he, he, in this particular situation, it's alleged that he's trying to break up a situation. He's trying to defuse a situation. He's not a shooter. He didn't shoot a gun. He's trying to get everybody to calm down, show that there's peace. There's nothing. Nothing's going to happen. He's worked, you know, for the last 10 years, Judge, it's, it's personal security for the temptations. He travels with them, goes with them. He wasn't trying to, to escalate anything in any way, shape or form. He was trying to defuse the situation by placing a gun allegedly on top of something to say, hey, stop. Someone else at that point, we don't know, grabs it and starts to, to, to allegedly shoot. Um, but you know, my client judge 5,000, 10%. I don't, I don't think that's a necessary bond. Obviously with the charge now, with the charge now, he's not, he can't, he's not going to be able to possess any guns. He understands that he had a prior, uh, delivery case that may have made him ineligible to get a CCW, your honor. But again, he's been working personal security for the temps for the last 10 years. Um, he's actually scheduled to travel for work judge from April 3rd to April 12th to Portuguese with them or show. Um, you know, we were obviously going to ask for permission to travel. Obviously, when you travel, you can't have any firearm. I think this was an isolated incident, Judge, and he was trying to, again, defuse the situation, and it turned bad. Um, if you tell him, you know, don't possess anything, he's not going to do that. We've had a conversation about it, talked about it. He understands the severity. He understands he's in his position. It's embarrassing, doesn't want to be here. And, you know, quite frankly, Judge, you know, I don't think he'll be back in this position again. Um, and so I'm asking the court uh, you know, to to give a personal bond uh, with the condition of no firearms. He's charged with firearms possession by a prohibited person, which is a five-year felony, and ammunition, which is a five-year felony. Again, Judge, he's not looking to go into jail in any way, shape, or form, may get some probation, possibly, if he is convicted. Not saying he will be, Judge, but, you know, I don't think he's a threat. I think the court can use a less intrusive measure by saying no contact with firearms, and I think that will suffice in this case. And your honor, just for clarification, I said fifty thousand ten percent, not five thousand ten percent. Um, and uh, Mr. Little's accused of having an entire bag of firearm um, accessories, which he would have had to, at some point, bring to the club. It's it's supposed to have been in his vehicle, and him seeing picking it up out of his vehicle. So that in itself sets up a situation where things will not de-escalate, but will escalate. And he's accused of handing off a firearm to another individual, not just putting the gun on top of the car. But that's not what happened, Judge. And we 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 take the facts. So, okay, okay. Enough with the back and forth. We, I mean, I've read the I've read the report. I'm the one who did the probable cause hearing. We all know that this is the nightclub shooting that happened uh, a few days ago, and Mr. Little is not alleged to have been the shooter, but apparently a gun that he had was handed off to someone. It was handed back to him. He put it on top of a car. These are all allegations. And then some third party grabbed the gun and shot into the crowd. It's a it's a, a very complicated situation. Obviously, if Mr. Little uh, had not allegedly had the gun with him in the first place, it couldn't have been used to shoot into the crowd. But to his credit, uh, he is not the one who was alleged to be the shooter here. Um, so I've got a couple questions for you, Mr. Reagan. Um, um, to what extent, because um, my temptation, pardon the phrase, my temptation here is to, uh, is to uh, uh, put him on GPS tether house arrest. That would obviously prevent him from touring with any uh, musical act. Uh, and to what extent would that permanently hinder his relationship uh, with that job? Judge, he's been doing it for 10 years, since 2015, oh, actually nine years, since 2015. It would, it would, it would severely damage that relationship, Judge, and that, and, and I say this to say, Judge, I understand that this is a bad situation that he even put himself in. And I don't think, you know, he's only, like you said, charged with the possession of a firearm and ammunition of a prohibited person. Those are five-year uh Felonies. I think, Judge, if you put him on a tether house arrest, that would really mess him up, you know, with the situation, with his job, and would cause a lot of hardship um, for his job, especially he's due to travel with them uh, from the 3rd to the 12th. Now, you know, I do understand the court's position, but I also know that if he had some prior situations, and in the information, Your Honor, it talks about uh, he did possess a firearm when ineligible because he had an attempted controlled substance case. Um, that's what the charge is, Judge. You know, it's not that he had guns prior. It's not that he had, you know, shootings or, you know, you know, assaultive cases. It's that he had a drug case previously, and that's why he's ineligible to have a firearm. He understands that now, and and obviously these allegations. But I, I think, Judge, 
you um, don't necessarily need to do GPS to the house arrest because I, I don't think that there's a pattern here based on past behavior that will show us that this is what he does. I think he has a good job. He works with good folks. And he's been in a situation where he hasn't had any issues like this while doing his job. So I'm hopeful that this is an isolated incident and we won't we won't see Mr. Uh, Little back here again. And. Um, when are they supposed to be out of the country? The April, 3rd, 3rd, April 3rd to April 12th, Judge. They're going to Portuguese. Portugal. 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 He has the tickets already scheduled, has the purchase tickets, everything is already in place. For a week and a half in Portugal, that seems like an awfully long time. Just they icons, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they could probably do a whole month somewhere on a, on a, uh, you know, review. Them. Like, they invented this whole thing, yeah. Well, the original ones did. Right, 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 right. The name, the right, the original. I think there's only one left, right? Yeah. <laughs> the cover band, sort of that, right? Yes, sir. Um, all right, this is what we'll do. Um, Mr. Little, uh, while this case is pending, you are not to possess a firearm or any other dangerous weapon. By the way, uh, Mr. Reagan, yes, sir. Um, I mean, is this is this pending case going to prevent him from international travel if and when he lands in Portugal? I, I don't think the pending case will, Judge. Um, if he had an outstanding warrant, then I think it would. But but, you know, many times, you know, countries are open, you know, and it depends on the country, too, Judge. And I don't want to say yes or no, but I, I, I think that a conviction is one thing. You know, I, he has to deal with, you know, a non-assaultive conviction is one thing, but also, you know, whether it, you know it's an outstanding warrant or not. I don't know if just having a pending case is going to prevent that. I don't know. I don't I can't say for sure, Judge, but that's something he'll have to deal with. All right. So his flight is leaving the third and returning the twelfth. Uh, that's true. Is that is that is that it, Mr. Mr. Little? You leaving the third and returning the twelfth, or was it? I know. I'm I leaving. I'm leaving the third. Yes, sir. I'm leaving the third, coming back to twelfth. Okay, that would be it. <laughs> Um, here's what we'll do. While the case is pending, you are not to possess a firearm or any other dangerous weapon. Uh, I will indicate that you can travel for work from April 3rd through April 12th. Uh, court will set bond at $50,000, $50,000 uh, personal. And... Next court date is April 8th, probable cause conference, April 15th, preliminary exam, both in front of Judge Giles. Mr. Little, I suggest you show up. Judge Giles sets very high cash bonds if people don't show up. Thank you, sir. You can step aside. Thank you.